Go. Hi, this is Randy Haig. I'm here at the Olympic Club on a, on a beautiful sunny day. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things you can do to help your practice session. I, uh, I see a lot of the, even the good amateurs on the driving range take a club out and hit straight shots, full shots as far as they can. I'm going to talk about an exercise, something that I do, starting with a six iron. The first green out the left is 130 yards, the second green is 170 yards. Typically what I'll do is I'll try to hit six different shots to each of these greens. The first green being 130 yards, I'm going to choke down on the six iron, take a half swing. And I'm just going to feel how much energy is needed to hit a shot 130 yards with a six iron. I'm going to then work the ball right to left. I'm going to hit a low shot. I'm going to try to hit a high shot working it both left to right and right to left. And then I'm going to do the same at the 170 yard green. What this will do is it will help you feel the amount of rotation your body needs to move shots in both directions. One of the things I find most helpful in a pressure situation is I, I go to my strongest shot. Typically that's going to be a shot that goes up and fades slightly to the right. The shot that I don't control as easily is the shot that goes right to left, but I still work on it on the driving range. I think it's a mistake to come to a driving range and just try to hit straight shots time and time again. I think it's important to try to work the ball, hit a ball straight, and then work it back the other way. This time I'm going to try to work on right to left at the second green. By doing so, it's more of a body rotation than it is set up or a hooked club. That one turned out pretty good. I think that uh, if you try working the ball different yardages with different shapes, with your different clubs, you'll develop a lot more shots in your bag as you go out to the golf course. That's it for today.